the forecast looks amazing. Yeah, overall it's looking good. We got a little bump in the road to get through tonight, but that's before the fair gets started. Yeah. A lot of folks out there need some rain. We had some heavy rain uh, the past 24 hours to the north, southern Iowa, though still dealing with some dry weather. We got cloud cover on our downtown sky cam right now. Temperature is 84 degrees. It is humid out there. You can definitely feel it. Dew point has climbed to 70, and that gives you a feels like temperature of 88, and there's not a tremendous amount of wind out there. So feeling a little hot, but it is early August after all. 12-hour forecast, generally dry. Our rain chances really start to increase later tonight. There could be a few storms earlier on, but I think the more widespread rains arriving after midnight. Look at this line of rain the past 24 hours. There's an area of two to five inches of rain. Reports coming in out of Badger and Fort Dodge of five inches of rain. So it was very heavy, especially along the Highway 20 corridor. Now we're watching some thunderstorms back around Eagle and Lincoln, Nebraska. They are slowly marching to the east. There's a system out there that's going to pull through as we slide through the next 24 hours. So a little bit of the evening activity in southwestern Iowa, but more widespread rains as we slide through the overnight hour. This area of low pressure is going to rock on through with time and it'll spin on through the state. Showers, thunderstorms overnight, a little bit of lingering activity tomorrow afternoon. Then this should move out and high pressure builds on in, setting us up for a nice stretch of weather. 80s out to the west with sunshine, but you can see storminess across the Midwest tomorrow. Minneapolis, Kansas City, St. Louis, Chicago, Detroit, and Indianapolis. So there's definitely going to be some wet weather, and then you nudge into some cooler temperatures over in Green Bay. So a little overnight activity. Watch the metro. We'll get some widely scattered storms just before midnight, but then the whole system pulls on through as we slide through the early morning on Tuesday, even right through sunrise, and then we'll spin up some showers and thunderstorms around that area of low pressure and the heating of the day, and then slowly everything pulls out, and it really does look like we'll dry out as we head into Wednesday with some nice sunshine then. Rain tracker, going to be some heavy rain in one of the drier areas of the state, but you can see down south, few locations picking up near an inch. Metro right now looks to be around 27, 107 inch, and you zoom in for you, lighter amounts in Ames, heavier amounts down in Clark County and Mahaska County. Again, the majority of this arriving overnight. So showers and thunderstorms moving in later on. Until then, generally dry but humid. 73 degrees north and northeast winds at 5 to 10. A very good chance of wet weather early tomorrow. Then tapering as the day goes along, more isolated in the afternoon. Temperature topping out at 87 degrees. Wednesday, 89, generally dry. First day of the fair looks dry. There could be an isolated storm. Mainly looks like Thursday night, 90s. Look what happens as we slide towards the weekend. 80s and sunshine, some clouds on Sunday, and more nice weather early next week.